Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential equation. We have k raised to the power of 3 equals 3 raised to the power of 3. We are solving for all the values of k that will satisfy this equation. Now, the first thing we are going to do is we can easily move this over here. We are going to have k raised to the power of 3 minus 3 raised to the power of 3. And this equals 0. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply this identity. If you have a raised to the power of 3 minus b raised to the power of 3, this equals a minus b times b squared plus ab plus b squared. And for us to apply this identity, our a equals k and b equals 3. So we are going to insert this right here. That means we are going to have k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 3 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So that means we are going to have k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 9 and this equals 0. Now we are going to have two different solutions. We have k minus 3 equals 0 or k squared plus 3k plus 9 equals 0. Now let's start with the first one here. From here, you can agree with me that k equals 3. So this is a real solution. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. We have k squared plus 3k plus 9 equals 0. We are going to use the formula method. We have k equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a and from here we have a equals 1 b equals 3 and c equals 9 so let's insert this right here that means we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 divided by 2 times 1. So we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 9 is 36. We have divided by 2. Remember this is 9. Now we proceed. We are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 is negative 27 divided by 2. So we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 27 times the square root of negative 1 because of this minus sign here all divided by 2. So from here, remember that the square root of negative 1 equals i. So we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 27 times i divided by 2. Now we can further split this 27 into, we can have it as the square root of 9 times 3. And this equals the square root of 9 is 3 then we have 3 root of 3. So we are going to insert 3 root of 3 right here. That means we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus 3 root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now at this point, what we are going to do is we can easily factor out 
3, we can have k equals, we have 3 into negative 1 plus or minus root of 3 times i divided by 2. So, we are going to have k equals 3 into negative 1 plus root of 3 times i divided by 2 or we have 3 into all times negative 1 minus root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now remember that the value of this equals omega w. So that is the value of negative 1 plus root 3 of i divided by 2. That is omega. And the value of this one here is omega squared. So this is omega. This is omega squared. That means we can rewrite our solution as k equals 3 times omega or 3 times omega squared. So therefore, the three solutions are, we have k equals, the first one was 3, then we have 3 times omega, then we have 3 times omega squared. So these are the three solutions. Now we can go ahead and check if what we have solved is correct. So remember the problem we had, k power 3 equals 3 power 3. When k equals 3 for the first one here, we are going to have 3 power 3 equals 3 power 3. And this is pretty straightforward. That's okay. Now when k equals 3 omega, what are you going to get? We are going to simply have 3 omega raised to the power of 3 should give us 3 power 3. So let's proceed. We can split this as 3 raised to the power of 3 times omega raised to the power of 3. And this equals 3 power 3. So we have 3 raised to the power of 3 times omega raised to the power of 3 is 1. And this equals 3 power 3. So if you multiply 3 power 3 by 1, we are going to have this. So this has been proven to be correct. Now let's do the last one here. When k equals 3 omega squared. The last one here. So let's do that quickly. So what are you going to get? We are simply going to have 3 omega squared raised to the power of 3 should give us 3 power 3. Is that so? Let's find out. Now remember 3, we can raise to the power of 3 times omega squared raised to the power of 3. Is this equals to 3 raised to the power of 3? We will know. Now let's make use of this identity. If you have a power n or power m, this equals a power n times m. And this also equals a power m all to a power of n. So we can switch this. We can have it as 3 power 3 times omega 3 raised to the power of 2. And this should give us 3 power 3. Remember, omega raised to the power of 3 is 1. So we are going to have 3 power 3 times 1 raised to the power of 2. And this equals 3 power 3. Remember, 1 raised to the power of 2 is 1. So we are having 3 power 3 equals 3 power 3. So all the complex solutions have been proven to be correct. And the real solution has also been proven to be correct. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.